the first thing, as you can see in the in the text box here beside my beside my head over here, is we're going to use Bioconductor package. We're going to use this Bioconductor package called vSeq2. And we should have Bioconductor all set up, but just to make sure, we're going to run that first. Add command here. This is going to go and get a package from CRAN called BioC Manager. And that does the job of looking after all of the installation of Bioconductor. If you remember back to that class, that section where we had an introduction to CRAN and Bioconductor packages, I had this image of an orchestra right, that we're all playing together. This idea that the Bioconductor package has lots and lots of packages and they all play nicely together to make music and that we all reuse uh, parts of different packages data formats and imports and outputs and, and these kind of things and share them between different packages is really uh, key in Bioconductor but it means that often when we go off to install one package like we just want to use vSeq2 here we're actually going to have to install quite a bit of the orchestra to make this thing play the music we want because we're sharing all these, this infrastructure across these packages and that's that conductor slide if you remember the orchestra slide so let's go and see what this looks like. So uh, we're all on the same page. I'm going to pop off to our studio here. So I'm going to do install dot packages and our studio is trying to help me here. So let me make this font a little bigger. So that I'm, I'll, I'll click the little broom here to clean up so we're up at the top so you can see what I'm typing more easily. So I'm going to install dot packages and I'm going to do the BioC manager. BioC. Oh, I'm going to have to type a B, BioC. So this is going to go and install this package or look for it if it exists. If I make a typo in it, if something like that, it'll say package not found. Right? If it's a name of a package that doesn't exist, it'll say bleh. Right? Can't help you, Bob. Right? You have to spell accurately and do all those things accurately. And as we've discovered much to our... Uh, much to our annoyance and frustration. Right? Normally, it's just typing accuracy that, that kills us here and causes these error messages. So now I've got the BioC Manager package uh, installed on my local computer here that I'm working on. And I could, you know, we've seen before when we're using packages with FastBD or ggplot2 or dplyr or any of these other packages, you would type library the name of the package and then we can just go and use all the functions from that package and we could do the same here we could type library BioC manager and then use it there's actually only just one function i want to use from this package but i don't want to load the whole package i'm just going to uh, call that one function from this package and to do that i'm just going to type the name of the package so BioC manager and you see our studio is helping me it's giving me this prompt. Do you mean this one, boss? Do you, do you, do you, right? Like the little puppy dog wagging its tail. This one, this one, right? So it's BioC Manager here. And I'm going to say, yeah, that is what I mean. You see, it's got the two colons after it. That means go to the package and then pull out a function from this package. And the one I want is the install, the second option here, BioC install. And if I just run this without any, uh, argument in it so nothing inside the regular brackets or parentheses here it's just going to set up the base bioconductor that's going to bring along those core bioconductor packages so i'm going to run that first and then i'll do dc2 afterwards you can always tell it to install an individual package so here it's asking me something this is one of the reasons one of the many reasons we don't do this in our r markdown document or put this code in our r markdown document because it's asking me a question so look boss there's some packages on your computer that are uh, that new versions are available for. Do you want to update all? Some are none. Now I'm going to say none in this case. You might have a long list of packages here if you haven't uh, kept your system up to date, for example, or if you haven't installed Bioconductor before. For example, there might be a long list of them. But we're going to start at least initially here by saying no. So I'm going to say M for no. And that's good happy day okay so i am then going to do I'm going to recall the last command so i'm pushing here are my keys i'm pushing my up arrow key to recall my previous command i'm not typing it all out again because the command i want to right now is install but i'm going to put d e and it's capital d capital e capital s d q 2 
DEC2. So there's an uppercase D, uppercase E, uppercase S, and then a small case EU, and then the number two, and I'm putting that inside quotes. This is the package I'm going to install. And I'm going to say, go off, please, and install this DEC2 package. It's going off and getting it. And it's telling me, oh, look, there's some other packages here, boss, that uh, it wants to upload. Now, there's only a few of them here. I could say A for all and go off and do them. I'm actually going to say uh, no here as well. And I'm good. Now, I'm going to check, you know, because I just say no kind of approach. I'm going to go off and check here if things are OK with the world. I'm going to go and check if the DC2 package actually uh, I can load it and use it. So I'm going to type library. And I'm going to do DE seek. So it should be one of these options here. It's DE seek two is the one. Make sure you have the two there. So now when I push return here, it's going to make the package available and all the functions within the package available for me to do my uh, to do my work, right? But it will also print some messages about bringing along the orchestra, loading up all the other packages that DE seek two needs to work, right? Because it's this bioconductor package and it's going to use all these different methods from these different other bioconductor packages. So don't be alarmed that a lot of text goes past, but let's just spend a minute seeing what that text is, okay? If you see a big message that says error, the word error, uh, then we got to pay attention. If it just says warning, we'll check what those warnings are, but we should be good to go. But if it's error, then we're going to have to go back. And where we said no to those questions, the solution usually is to say, yes, let's update those packages. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, load it up. And there's lots of red text. It's red font because that's the, 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 you know, the theme that I have. Doesn't mean it's bad text, right? So let's go and have a look at what's being printed out here. Lots of stuff flew past here. This is the orchestra coming along right, for the ride here. So here's where I actually issued my. Uh, oh, sorry, I've highlighted too much, but this is the line that I just typed. And then these are the messages being printed out. It says, it says here, loading this package, loading this package, loading this package, loading this package. Oh, and this package is kind of uh, this biogenerics package. And then these are functions here from this package that have names similar to functions in other packages that you had loaded. So I'm masking those. So now you use these functions, right? So this a whole lot of stuff going on here, like the interquartile range, this function called mad, that doesn't refer to me, that's, that's a function within this package, stats, so there's a, a normal package called stats, but when we load this biogenerics, there's a new function, new version of mad that's loaded over the top of it, so we're going to be using that one now. All these other things are masked, and then it's loading i ranges and genomic ranges and Genome info, DB, database, summarized experiments, bio-based. This is our orchestra, right? It's like the, you know, the one up here coming along. This is like the orchestra, the player coming in with it, like her coming in with her big double bass and bumping all the other things out of the way and saying, right, here, I'm here. Let's bring the percussion in, all these other packages. Okay, I'm going to stop with the acronym and, uh, and the metaphors here, and uh, let's get started. So. There's warning messages here. It says DC2 was built under previous version of R. I installed from uh, binary version, not from source. If, if it asks you, to, there's a later version. Sometimes this may ask you, oh, there's a later version of this package available, but it's not available in binary format. That means you know, like a compiled version. I'm on a Macintosh computer here, or a Mac, and you can install. Uh, you don't have to install the package from source code. You can install it from these pre-built binaries. That's what I did. But it might say there's a later, greater version, but the binary isn't available yet. Do you want to install from source? I don't say no because sometimes we don't have the compilers for that available on student computers uh, where we are. But I'm installing the binary versions. They were built under a slightly earlier version of R. I'm on a later version. It's just warning us about that, but we're good to go here. There's no error messages. There's no big problems with the work with the world here. Now, if you do have an error message or something confusing. That you uh, that you can't solve by answering yes to those questions, um, to the install uh, 
issues, I want you to go to our class website, please, and check out the guidelines. There's more detailed guidelines. I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull these up here too. Bear with me for a minute. I'm going to go to our class, go to our website. That's um, so actually we're on the schedule. Um, here we're on week nine. So this detailed bioconductor setup instructions. So if you click here, it'll open a page where it basically has the code that I that I typed in here and some notes about about uh, about the install process and if things went wrong, there's some guidance about where to go for for help. If you still can't fix it with this, post on our forum, please. Post on our um, on our Piazza forum, and I'll have a little look there too, along with uh, along with the IAs, and we'll be able to get you up and running.